It's little wonder that a day after the All Blacks victory in Edinburgh relaxed Ian Foster was inspired to make a pun about his side avoiding injuries, scot-free, he described it, as he looked towards their final test of the year at Twickenham. Foster gambled in making six changes to his back line for Scotland after a comprehensive victory over Wales in Cardiff a week earlier. It paid off with a 31-23 win, never mind the untidy stuff in the middle of it, and he now has a refreshed and motivated squad to take on England, their nemesis from the last World Cup. He also has a greater idea of who is up to the rigours of Ind. Right wing Mark Delea, who scored two of the All Blacks four tries, appears to be one. Delea, on his desk debut, displayed the flashing feet and attacking instincts that have lit up Super Rugby over the past couple of years and while he was bundled into touch on one occasion, and appeared to get a little lost on a kick chase on another. The news, however, may not be so good for halfback Finley Christie, who was not as influential as he would have liked on a rare start and was overshadowed by 30-year-old TJ Perenara, who delivered a masterclass of control on his arrival in the second half and will have revived hopes of a trip to France next year. With Falao Fekatov at doubt for Super Rugby next year due to a knee injury, Perenara and Brad Weber appear greater chances to back up Aaron Smith. The news wasn't so good either for blindside flanker Kiri Yoane, the Blues player was not as effective as he would have liked as the All Blacks battled to stop Scotland's momentum in scoring 23 unanswered points, with Shannon Frizzell impressing off. The bench with his much more direct approach. The return to fitness next year of Ethan Blackadder may also put the squeeze on Yoane particularly with Dalton Papali playing so well alongside Artie Sevilla. Elsewhere, second five David Havili lacked timing and threw another intercept pass as the All Blacks attempted a breakout, eerily similar to the one he threw in the defeat to France in Paris last November. With Jordy Barrett, solid at fullback, likely to wear the number 12 jersey against England which will allow Bowden to move to the back. Smith will resume at halfback, with Richie Munga back at first five and Rieko Yoane good off the bench, back at center.